Burger. Thank you for tuning in for another episode of Stuck in Vermont, brought to you by Seven Days. We are here in North Vermont at the Muncher Museum for Machine Madness. It's this amazing Rube Goldberg inspired machine creation. And we have families coming from all over the state and beyond, bringing their machines, connecting them to each other, and to the grand finale, all the machines will work together as one Rube Goldberg inspired machine. Let's go talk to the inventors and find out how this machine is going to run. Come on! I'm assuming that anybody that is hoping to have a machine in the major chain reaction has your machine on a table now. Okay, the Machine Madness, is, this is our fourth year of doing this activity and we uh, threw caution to the wind, I suppose. I just like to be an engineer. When I was a little kid, I, I used to make I used to make, make all sorts of things. I don't know, because I've never, I've never lost interest myself in, in playing <laughs> with this stuff. Well, we decided to try it because it involves a lot of uh, synergy and, and uh, improvisation. They were going too fast, so I decided that we should have more than one string and each ball would go one by one. Uh, what we're seeing today is a lot of families from the Upper Valley that are coming to the Monshire today uh, unveiling a contraption that they have built. Everybody's got different materials that they've brought. You know, everything from metal erector sets to, you know, plastic parts to cardboard. It's neat to see. And we decided to use baseball. Uh, Since they like to play baseball. Somehow the, the challenge is within an hour or two here at the museum to link them all together and create this big Rube Goldberg type chain reaction through our, our community. So that's, that's the challenge. Who knows how it will turn out. I just focus on my part and no one else's. And, and it was a, an interesting uh, mix of uh, different people from all over the place that came to do this. Yeah. Much of the stuff that we like to do here um, is about intergenerational learning. So little kids and grandparents and everybody in between each other. I think my husband's a little bit more rich intrigued than the kids are, but they're, they're, they're hanging back and watching. You need to work with your neighbor. I mean, the whole idea is to you know, have something which goes end to end. And how it works is this string pulls down that little thing which holds up the marble. So there, that string is going to pull the break out of the way. Okay. And this one's going to go like that off the edge. When, when the back hits it, uh -huh. it falls down. They all go down. And then this is supposed to let this go. And like that and the string. Little leverage as the weight slides down the stick to spin the gears which in turns will stretch a linkage which tips a lever which drops a magnet which swings across and pulls another magnet which lets some balls go which fall into a wheel changes the center of gravity that should start rolling close an electric switch which spins a wheel pulls down a door and turns on the propeller which then will wind around and pull the string for the next one. It's really thrilling with people who put so much time into this and, and they they stand back and witness this this reaction and they see the piece that they built that's a part of that and the drama involved and will it or will it not actually make it to the finish line. The element of surprise. <laughs> not there for sure. <laughs> Whether they're gonna work. I would like to say yes, but <laughs> I know mine doesn't go through every time, so uh. Five, four, three, two, one. I 
think it's amazing that people can come together and, and actually get everything to work and do this. Hey everybody, it's Ava. Thanks for tuning in for another episode of Stuff in Vermont, brought to you by Seven Days. Thanks to Vermont Share Museum, and thanks to Rube Goldberg. That was a really cool machine. We'll see you later for another episode. Goodbye. Did you guys make screen? Oh, cool. Why is it called Scream? Well, if you were a person in this thing, you'd scream if you came down.